Yo guys, what is happening? What is going on? What is good? Hope you all are ha having a great day. I need to get that intro like said properly because I keep messing up. So today guys, I want to show you how to keyframe in Final Cut Pro. I have seen many tutorials online on this uh, subject and people seem to really explain it in the most confusing way possible. And it, honestly, it's not as confusing as everyone else is making it out to be. Uh, I mean, the name itself is quite daunting. Um, so yeah, obviously, you, you know, people get put off of it, but, um, yeah, th there are five steps to actually keyframing. All right. I've seen comments, you know, on other videos saying, when do I add the keyframe? When do I do this? When do I do that? So if you stick to these five steps, right, this is the formula that you need in order to actually make the keyframe happen. If you stick to that formula, I swear to God is always going to work, right? So the formula is keyframe done move cursor, move font, done. So I'm going to put that into action now uh, and show you guys exactly what I mean. But before I do that, got to do the shameless plug. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And also subscribe to the channel, guys. Like, you know, it, it, it would be very, very helpful if you guys do that. That's all I ask. You don't have to like the video. You don't have to comment. Just hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram. That is it. All right, let's get to it. So this here is a clip um, from yesterday, actually. Uh, it's me and my girlfriend. We were in the Highlands in uh, Scotland, just going out doing like a little photography adventure. So yeah, I'm going to add a title here, okay? Because we're gonna um, keyframe the title because that's what most, pe most people uh, keyframe. And I'm gonna, let's change the font just to make it. I don't necessarily enjoy doing keyframes. I never have them in my videos just because I feel like they look quite tacky. Um, but a lot of like YouTubers, you know, if you have those YouTube channels where you're doing like YouTube challenges and what have you not, uh, then obviously, you know, keyframing is something that you'll really want. So I'm just gonna wait for that to load. So what I wanna do here is I'm going to take this, um, this title, right? And I'm gonna move it from here to up there. All right, that's the keyframe that we're gonna do. And by following the, the five steps, keyframe, done, move cursor, move font, done, we'll have a successful keyframe. Once this loads up, I don't know why it's taking so freaking long, dude, this thing really annoys me. Okay, here we are. So what we're gonna do, first step is, we're gonna click here, this square, okay? Once we click that, we're going to hit this diamond button. That's your keyframe here, okay? In fact, let me move this cursor to the beginning. That's what we need to do. So, right, so keyframe, okay? That's the first step. Now that is basically marking, right, point A. So this here, this first keyframe, that's right there, that's point A, okay? So that's like your, the, your starting point. Now you're gonna click done. That's your second step. Right, so where do you want to move this title? We're gonna wanna move it up there. When do we want to move, when do we want this title to end up here? So we want to move the cursor to let's say five seconds, right? So we want this title to end up up there after five seconds. So we move the cursor. Now we're going to move the font right up here. And as you can see, this red light, this red line here, okay, that's basically telling the title to move up. When you see that red line, that's when you know you've done, um, you've done the keyframe correctly, okay. You need to see that red line, and by following these steps, like I said once again, um, you'll you'll get it. All right. So once you move the font, the last step, the fifth step, is to just click done, again, okay, and then, voila right there and then within five seconds your font is going to end up up there now let's say after five seconds you want your um your title to end up in the middle okay so you follow the exact same steps again okay so keyframe right that's point a again or you can call it point b whatever you want okay click done right move the cursor. Now I want this to get to the middle a lot faster than there. Okay, so we've moved the cursor. Now I'm going to click that again. I'm going to click move 
the font to the middle and you're done there. So, I mean, that's not exactly like middle, middle, but you know what I mean. So five seconds, going to reach the top and then in the middle. And now if we want that to end up back down there, or let's say we want this title to just go off of the screen, right? We want it to just vanish. So what you're going to do is once again, right? First step, click keyframe and then done. And then we're going to move the cursor to the end there. And then we're going to click that and we're going to move the font all the way out like that. And then you're going to click done. So what we have is the title basically just moving from down to up and then to the middle, and then it should just go out of the screen. Let's see. Oh, is it moving out of the screen? Bam, there we go. Simple as that, guys. Once again, keyframe, done. Move cursor, move font, done. And that's you keyframed your title, or you can do that with, um, with your clips. You can do that with emojis. If you put emojis in your um, in your video, you can absolutely keyframe anything, man. But I just thought I'd um, you know show you guys in the most simplistic way how to keyframe a title because yeah, everyone is finding it quite difficult to do. That's it, guys. That's you keyframed everything. So I'm gonna keep this video nice and short. And yeah, once again, guys, please follow me on Instagram. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. If you F with this video, aside from that, guys, please have a great day. Enjoy keyframing as much as possible. Please don't overdo it because if you overdo it, it may end up looking tackier than it already being tacky. Have a great day, guys. Peace.